Mike's Daily Podcast. Oh my gosh, where have you been? It's been like, what have you been like? Something's been keeping you from going outside, like mandates. Mike's Daily Podcast. It's a date with a man called a mandate. Wait a minute, I think I see a problem. I think I fixed it. I solved them a problem that I was having at the beginning of the show. Paid for a very interesting beginning of the show, don't you know? Yeah, so we got this COVID-19 thing happening, Corona's. Mike's Daily Podcast. And the viruses. And I have not been broadcasting because you hear a little bit of nasalness huh? Mike's in my voice. It's Daily because I caught a cold podcast. from my, my lovely lady friend. Yeah! She's so lovely, but she gave me a cold. What are you going to do? She gave me... And so now I am ever so trying to bounce back from it all. You know, I had the cold, which consisted of a runny nose and uh, not a sore throat, but kind of an itchy throat. And then you cough a lot. Well, I didn't cough a lot and I didn't have a temperature, but I was really tired. So I'm naturally thinking I have the coronavirus, COVID virus. So I didn't want to be a COVID idiot and freak out and quarantine myself, but I did. I said, I'm not going into work. To which my bosses said, great idea. You stay the heck out of here. Get away. We don't know what you have. You don't know what you have. We're not doctors. You're not. So it's like, but the thing is, everyone's running around like they, they, like, The worst thing is when you go into this mindset of nobody knows anything. And I may have said that in my last podcast, but it's, it's bad because we're not, we need, we need answers and the answers will present themselves. Well, with some very intense research and then we'll know, and then we can laugh at this podcast. And here's today's podcast picture. We can laugh about when Mike knew nothing. When we didn't know anything, and we'll laugh at the, those times. That was good. That was a hearty laugh. Ha ha! Mike was dumb, and now he's not. He's smart, and he's he's got the most popular podcast in the entire world. Did you see that a front runner has a virus? That would be the German CDU leadership, it's Frederick Mertz. But Frederick, Frederick. Here's the thing, though. Is you cannot Oh Basil has a couple of words for us He's been enjoying me hanging out All the time with him Now uh, Stephen Colbert doesn't like to be away from his public For long as Basil has told you And he In fact when he was off of The Colbert Report when that had ended And before he had started the Late night show or took it over for Letterman He did a podcast for a while And then ended it As a lot of people who do podcasts do They can only do so much And then they die Or they take 12 days off No wait I took a week and two days off Don't get on me It wasn't 12 days He's been married to Evelyn McGee Since 1993 Stephen Colbert And he's got A son No, two sons and a daughter But back to me Oh, no, back to Stephen Colbert So he has made a surprise return to late night A lot of the guys are saying, "Uh uh-uh, no We're not going to do it If we don't have a live audience, forget it Because it's just, we can't This is weird Is this true now that we are all assembling Because we can't assemble in public anymore This is so like Some dictatorship country, isn't it? But we're doing it for our own health It's not the president saying it It's the health people saying it And we can't all assemble And it's bad because we make money off of when a bunch of people assemble We pull up in our food trucks And we charge people crazy unreasonable rice prices for rices And it, that's what happens we, that's, we, we are Americans and that's what we do 
So not to be able to assemble To get together Come on now people Actually going to work today Was the most fun I have had in a long time Because I have been Sort of in this self-imposed quarantine Even though I just had a cold And my lovely lady friend gave it to me It's my own fault because Well, I like kissing her And so what happens is You end up Getting the cold of your loved ones And then you are trying to do exercises at home What is this story about people doing four easy exercises to keep you moving Is this because we're all trapped at home? Which by the way, I am here to give you a little glimpse of the little world outside And I try to give you a healthy perspective on things And I, I couldn't do it for the past nine days Mm, yeah Since Sunday of last week And that's because I, I came down with this well, First off, work was insane As you know, if you worked last week It got increasingly more and more crazy Every day the stock market going down further Every day people getting more in a panic And you know how I feel about people that are panicking I hate alarmists I hate all of that And so every day took a toll on me and then my lovely lady friend caught a cold And I'm like, ah, I won't catch it Wrong And then I I finally said enough uh, On um, Thursday, I think was the day That everybody started saying um, We're going to get quarantined This is real This is They're going to have it so that we'll have to shut down The work and all that We had a meeting about it Can we do work from home, that sort of thing and then that night, over on the overnight as I slept, I got more and more sick. Uh, my nose started to run. And I woke up Friday and I said to everybody at work via email, I can't come in. I'm going to take a chance. And I mean, I don't want to take the chance and, you know, risk you guys. So I'm going to stay home. Plus, I felt awful. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing you Mike's Daily Podcast. Somewhere in Podcastro Valley. Yes, we are in Podcastro Valley. Where Nary a restaurant is open I used to know a girl named Nary by the way And I went to her wedding And it was so sad because it was kind of like What's going on with this coronavirus All of these chairs All these seats and nobody sat in, There was nobody there I, I don't know what happened I think they invited a bunch of people And nobody wanted to go There were a lot of people that were protesting Their marriage Isn't that sad A lot of people said I'm not going to show up because if I show up, it'll mean that I support this marriage They ended up only being married for like a year, by the way So maybe there was something to it But for a radio guy, all radio people, they love free food You sh- you say free food and we're there with bells on Oh Bells Oh, and I even have this little guy If I can get him Outside a cafe anyway where you bring you Mike's Daily Podcast Somewhere in Podcast Girl Valley Bells on That is a bell That does not really really work on a podcast Oh well So Neri got married I was at the wedding With a couple other people from work For my radio job And I think we all took home About five flower pieces they had the most amazing It was a beautiful I mean they spent so much money on this It was at a hotel in Agora Hills That they both worked at So Neri worked at, a, at the radio station And also worked at this hotel And I guess that's how they met And it was a long long service It was outside under a What's they call They call it a hopa The little arch with the flowers and the wedding went on the, the, the ceremony And it's all in Spanish I couldn't understand what was being said By the way, Neri learned English by listening to country music I remember that story And it's a hot, hot day A girl hills gets so hot And we had this old guy there from the job He should have retired years ago But he kept working at this radio station We thought he was going to drop dead right there He was not in the best of shape Ugh but he had to come to every single wedding That was his thing I remember when I And I was getting married uh, Did I get married before that? Somewhere around there And he was Mike, are you going to get married? 
I hope you get married soon because I want to go to the wedding and eat a bunch of food. So back to this story about Castro Valley being... So the situation is, if you don't know, in the Bay Area, if you live outside of the Bay Area, this is fascinating. This may happen where you are. Maybe it's happening already. But they did this lockdown thing. It's it's called the shelter, state of sheltering. Give me shelter or I'm going to fade away. Uh, here's children It's just a shot away Just a shot away Yeah And so they said You cannot We don't want anybody outside basically You can only be Going outside if you're going somewhere Like you can go to the Grocery store to get food Grocery stores are still going to be open Restaurants are going to be open but you can't sit in the restaurant You got to get your food and go. So you know what that means? That means places that have buffets, like what's that, Fresh Choice, they can't be open. Because people, they they get a bunch of food, and then they eat it, and they go back, and they eat more. And if you look at the people in the Fresh Choice, I'm not making a judgment, but they're fat. And then, that's my little sense of irony comedy for you there. If you caught it, and that's if you didn't, that's okay. So what happened is, they that these places are closed that where people have to actually sit down to eat. If you can take your food and go, and 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 what's that? The British say takeaway. We say to go, and so you get your food and you go. You're fine. You can stay open. Although I've noticed a lot of Starbucks and Pete's closed because I guess that goes back to when people get a coffee, they like to st- sit and hang around. Although I have not done that in recent. Years That much You Tend to go Oh my god We're breaking all kinds of rules here at Cafe anyway With all these people here Don't worry Before the show We all tested for coronavirus And we're all clean So we can do that We can assemble No maybe that's bending the rules I don't know But I guess we're all breaking the law Breaking the law Here at Cafe Anyway Located somewhere in Podcastro Valley The last place on earth And the police are going to come And get me Look who's here Hello Michael Matthew It's Madame Rutabaga And I'm so sorry You had a cold Oh Yeah I had a bit of a cold I had one too Oh What it was Do you have a runny nose? Yes Did you Have trouble Staying awake because you're so sleepy? Yes. Did you vomit out of your nose? No. That's not good when you have to do that. And look who else is here. Hello, Dave Mike. This is Valentino, the parking attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. You know that? Mike, I heard that you was out for a while, and that is why we did not have a podcast day. Yeah, no podcast. Do you know that? That's right. And then that's basically what I said in the show today. The podcast picture, by the way, is of a moment that I enjoyed. How many years ago is this? Oh, four years ago today, I was at Half Moon Bay and this guy jumped off the cliffs they have over there by the ocean side. And he had that little umbrella thingy and he started to glide, glide through the air like a Bird, so graceful. Also today, in the news, my lovely lady friend, whom I a four mentioned, uh, she had an interesting moment where she was borrowing my car and she left the car and she came back to the car later, as the story goes. And my keys were inside the car In the ignition In Oakland In like downtown Oakland She left the keys in the ignition In my car That shows you how much my car is wanted And that shows you probably a lot of the The bad hombres The thieves The car stealers They're they're following the law More so than I am And they are staying inside They're taking shelter Shelter in place Give me shelter Or I'm gonna fade away I have to borrow 
from someone that I have produced the show. Actually, I'm going to be producing his show on Thursday, Friday, and Monday and Tuesday this week. So we might be a little bit more consistent with Mike's Daily Podcast. Mike'sDailyPodcast.com. And you can see that picture, by the way, at Mike'sDailyPodcast.com. And tell me about what you think about any of these topics we've discussed thus far. 336MM Daily. That's 3 plus 3 equals 6MM. Is in Mike Matthews. Daily isn't what this podcast will try to be from now on. Promise. And that is, he was mentioning the stock market going up and down. And he mentioned a couple of things. I was listening to a lot of his show today, partly because I put his um, promo. We call it a promo. It's a commercial that has a little bit of his show, a little slice, so you can hear what he does. And I always try and get the most entertaining, interesting thing he says. And he had a lot of it today. One of it things... One of it things that he talked about was all the people going to Costco. He's like, why do we have to hoard this much toilet paper? Are we really expecting to have our bowels be that belligerent because of the coronavirus? It's because people got so scared of the coronavirus, they pooped their pants is what he said. And he did. And he said poop. And kids, if you say the word poop to your mom right now, she's going to think you're so cute. For saying poop Poop by the way Is one of those uh, Not an automatopoeia But a The other thing A Zanzibar No A Guana A palindrome That's it Palindrome Poop Is a palindrome Tell that to your mom And dad And let them know That you're getting smarter Listening to Mike's Daily podcast He also mentioned the thing At some point They are going to come up with a cure For the coronavirus And this will no longer be an issue And we will laugh once again Like I said About how dumb Dumb Mike was All along Or how he was at this moment Which is maybe as you're listening to this Eons later Way back when And and we'll go Oh this thing You could find a cure to it what was the big deal? And at some point, the market's going to start go shooting right through the roof, right again, like it used to. It's not staying down forever. That's what he was saying. As a man of someone who is, you know, pretty much observing the stock market every waking second of the day, I cannot do that. I cannot stomach the stock market. It freaks me out. The ups and downs. And the money involved in all that But in the end It's how you make money And the people that are smart at it can do a really good job And you can actually hire these people But that's enough of that I just wanted to say that If you um, want to Find an easy exercise Blake Lively's trainer Has shared four easy exercises To keep you moving Wow Wow uh, to keep our immune system strong Push-ups Those are good uh, Three to five sets I, f- Sets and repetitions I do not understand the difference I don't get it, it Set. What's a set? A set is like If I do five of them That's a set, right? But then I Oh, then I gotta repeat it? Now, now you're talking Stratosphere stuff Lunges Oh, This guy's an idiot I don't like any of these uh, Cardio I think sprinting is overlooked Sprinting is a terrible idea This health podcast here That I am bringing to you at this moment Is all about not sprinting Don't sprint you're, If you're a young person Sprint By all means sprint If you're my age Do not even attempt it <laughs> Oh wait a minute I did kind of sprint today When I realized that the the BART I needed to get on Had just pulled up and I hadn't noticed it And I was still way down the platform And I was like, eat zoics And I ran down and caught it Okay And a lateral bound uh, That's a thing When you're jumping side to side And landing on one leg No Here's my tip for you Work your exercise into your daily life As if you have to do it in order to get the, get to point B 
In other words, if you are like, I like the idea of walking. I used to like the idea of exercise of lifting Basil because um, he could still walk with his front legs, but he can't really do that anymore. And he, we end up hurting. He ends up getting more hurt than. So I, I said no. No, no more of that. But I do pick him up. I just pick him up, up his whole body using my legs and being careful because I don't want to drop him. But that's some good exercise. And there are uh, pull up bars near where I work. So I'll use those. I do, I get the low fruit, low hanging fruit. That's the best thing. Oh, so yeah, I, by the way, I am able to go out into public because I do work for a radio station and the media is still necessary and it's, it's considered essential. But how does that divide our culture into different classes now? You're either essential or you're not. You're an essential oil. If you're not, you stay home and you just sit there listening to podcasts. No, you're probably watching TV. Gosh, the TV ratings are going to go up again. This staying at home thing. There's going to be a big baby boom. As Rob mentioned today, those people are going to be called coronials or something or coron generation corona or corona or maybe covids or covidiots. Those that's what those ch- children will be called. Because like the baby boom, right? That's when everybody, all the soldiers came home from war And people started getting busy and children were born That's a name like the covid idiots will be created Did I just come up with that? So that's the end of the show Because, well, this person's going to start talking Tell me what you think. 336-MM daily. 3 plus 3 equals 6-MM is in Mike Matthews daily. Isn't what this podcast will try to be from now on. Stay well. And, oh, if you do have uh, symptoms, well, see, that's the thing. That's always a moving target right now, right? What is it? What is it exactly? What are the symptoms? You look at different websites. You see different things. Go to the CDC, of course, and you get the definitive answer. But as I walked past this hospital that had their screening tent set up, I asked them, you know, I said, I just, I think I just got over a cold. And one of the ladies said, well, you look healthy. And I go, thank you. And they said, you know, we're just sort of saying right now, if you were in contact with someone that has coronavirus and you're feeling sick, that's when we want to keep an eye on you. And we're more interested in old people and people that are frail and have other diseases and compromised systems. That's who we're worried about. Because they don't want like a whole bum rush, for lack of a better term, even though I like the way that sounds. Bum rush to the uh, screening tents and the screening areas. They don't want it just everybody running like it's Christmas Day and um, or that would be Thanksgiving Day when the deals happen for Christmas. And they go and they take all the t-shirts. That's what they don't want. So in other words... You'll be fine. That's what we've learned from today's show. You'll be fine and have fun in your little shelter. Thank you for listening. Now, person that's going to talk, talk. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now. Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. And that was episode 1995. 1995. That was the year that I was listening to some grungy music and discovering, was it the Verve? Did they come out then? And was that the time of the band Smash Mouth? 1995. What a year in music. What was your favorite song from 1995? You can call me at 336-MM-DAILY or you can contact me through the website at mikesdailypodcast.com.